In this course, we will try and create a user login registration system using Laravel's defaults. So we'll open our command prompt and we'll do a PHP artisan make auth. And we'll hit enter and wait where, while Laravel builds um, our authentication scaffolding. So as you can see, that's built so many files for us. So we have to go and confirm. If you go to app, you will see that it has built inside HTTP. It has in controller, it has built an alt folder. And that alt folder contains your forgot password, login, registration, reset. Don't worry if all these folders confuse you for now. As we go ahead, you start understanding them very well. If you also go to our resources in the views, all right, for now, um, well, let's continue. Let's go and check the web page first. So if we go and uh, check our home page, hit enter, we'll realize one thing that our home page now has a login and a register, register button. So Laravel has redesigned this home page and added a login and register button. So if we hit on the login, we will observe that there is already a login form created by Laravel for us. This is a very nice login page. If you click on the register, you see that there's a registration form already created for us. And uh, if we look at the forgot password, see that there's a forgot password feature already built out. So this is what Laravel uses to build out our application as fast as possible. So if we check out one of our phases, when we were starting this tutorial, the phase one was going to cover the username, the password, and if we check it out, we'll see that we have covered that already. All right, I was trying to show you the folder, the auth folder here, but as you can see, it has not uh, reflected on this folder. It has been created, but it's not reflecting here, so we'll wait for it to reflect. But otherwise, we can go to the actual folder itself in our Explorer. If you open resources, this is our pmanager folder. If we open resources, this is the resources file. If we open this resources and open these views, we see that Laravel has created two um, extra things for us. For instance, there is a layout file that we will see, and then there is an auth file, auth folder, and inside that auth folder there is login and there is register, and then there is another folder that has password. All right. Now, um, in Laravel, the concept of building websites in Laravel has something to, to do with frames. For instance, this is a frame. The, the rest of this application is a frame and this is the content of the frame. So the content of the frame is just a page and the main the rest of the frame is just one page. So the content keeps changing while the rest of, rest of the frame remains the same. So in Laravel, what happens is when you're developing the Laravel app is that you have one frame. This is app.blade.php. That's just one uh, layout. All right. So once you have this layout, what happens is that every other page you are developing will be inside this layout. So let me open it and show you that every other page will be inside this layout. All right. It could be easier to see from here. So let me refresh this. I've refreshed this. And if I go back to views, I'll see that there are two folders already. Then there's a layout. If I click on app.blade, so usually, if you're designing a HTML website on the traditional PHP uh, website, you will see that this uh, re resembles very much your default HTML page. And um, as you can see, and if you look at this, you'll see that this is basically Bootstrap because Laravel makes use of Bootstrap. And if we keep cr scrolling down, we'll see where Laravel develops all this. This is still the navigation login and register. As you can see here, login and register. And if you look at the Laravel name here, the app name, up here you will see that it's the Laravel. So which we shall obviously change to P Manager. All right, so if we keep scrolling down, we'll see that it checks for the username if the, if the person is already logged in. And if we get to this point, we'll see content. So this, after this navigation, we have content. So each page is served uh, into this particular point. So this is the point telling the whole frame or the layout where 
uh, larva should serve the rest of the pages we will understand this better as we go ahead but i just want to show you that this is like a container that contains different pages all right so as you navigate from page to page this nav bar and the rest of the bottom stays the same while the the inner content of the page changes okay so see you in the next video tutorial where we'll create a user account and login and uh, even create admin roles thank you very much see you